Hi everyone, Brian Moses here from Real Estate Training Breakthroughs with another short real estate video tip for you. Um, today I want to talk about getting more mileage from the moves that you're already making. Okay, from the things that you're already doing, I want to talk about getting more money from that and more profitability, improving your conversion more specifically. Um, we're all talking with buyers and sellers, hopefully on a weekly and daily basis, and we've all had prospects which we engage them in a conversation either over the phone, face to face, perhaps at an open house, and nothing came of that, and they went sideways. You know, real, really interesting story. Um, when you're talking with a buyer and seller, they're a buyer, they're a seller. Our goal is to get an appointment with that person, right? A lot of people would think that the goal is to establish timing and motivation. And too often, salespeople are asking probing questions way before it's time. And when you do that, you actually decrease the concept of rapport. Uh, you turn prospects off. You've all been in a situation outside of real estate where you were the buyer, you were the prospect, and that salesperson turned you off. You know, you were just looking at something, and they said, can I help you? And you said, no, I'm just looking. And they said, you know, uh, they asked you some question that pissed you off, and you're like, Jesus, just leave me alone. I'm just looking. You know, if they just altered their presentation a little bit, they, instead of pissing you off, they could dramatically increase rapport and engage you so that you're asking them for their help. Would that be more profitable? Would that be more powerful? I like to refer to it as actually talking to fewer people and selling more homes. See, you know, real estate is not a numbers game like you would, many would have you believe it is. You know, you're going to talk to hundreds and hundreds of people to get that one sale. Well, if you have the right message, if you strategize, if you think about this in advance, what your message is going to be before you actually engage with the prospect, you'll be much more efficient, much more profitable. Let me tell you what I mean. In real estate, we've been told to ask lots of questions, right? Uh, exchange information. I was told early on when I got into the business, you know, when you're talking with a buyer, it's like a dance or a ping pong match. You want, they hit the ball over to you, the ping pong ball, you hit it back over to them. And each time they ask you a question, you answer the question and ask another question. But it really has frustrated more buyers than I care to remember and caused me more losses of income in sales than I'd really like to talk about. But it's worth talking about so that you don't go through the same difficult times. See, asking probing questions too early will reduce rapport. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to think about what message can you come up with to increase rapport. Okay, we know buyers want selection. We know that they're not buying one home, they're looking at several before they buy one. We also know that they want a good value, a good deal, affordability. And we also know that they want convenience. So let's create a message packaged around that. We know sellers, my sellers, your sellers in your marketplace, they want as much money for their home as possible. So that would be a good thing to have in your message. So instead of doing this ping pong match where a buyer says, how much is the house? And you go, it's $399.9. Is that in your price range? How long have you been looking? With whom am I speaking? Have you been pre-approved by a lender yet? Uh, how much cash do you have for down payment and closing costs? What's your credit like? Do you have any credit issues that concern you? All of those type of questions are self-motivated. And the buyer's no dummy. They know that you're asking those questions. I was buying a car for my niece recently. I walked onto a car lot and the salesperson actually said, are you here to buy or are you just here to look? Can you believe that? I'm like, what an ass. Honestly. I go, no, I'm actually here to waste as many people's time as possible was my reaction. And he thought I was serious. He goes, oh, okay, then I'm going to go back in. I'm like, are you serious? I'm on a car lot because I've got nothing better to do with my time? Seriously. No different than a buyer picking up the phone and calling you and going, how much is the house on Oak Street? They're asking for a reason. But we know that they don't buy the house on Oak Street. So I want you to strategize. I want you to spend some time thinking about what your answer is. I want you to think about if you do an open house and a buyer walks in, what is your message? What are you going to say? Are you going to come out strong with all kinds of questions and turn the prospect off? Or would it make sense to tell them about things that might interest them and get them engaging, asking more about the things that might interest them? Here's an example. When I'm talking to a buyer, 
It doesn't matter how I come into contact with them. I ask them, are you interested in just this type of property or all the others that match your criteria? The reason I ask is because we have access, you have access to bank foreclosures, corporate owned properties, short sales, sellers in trouble, distress sales, probate and estate properties, people going through divorce today that the courts are forcing them to sell, oftentimes below market value. Recent price reductions of 5, 10, 15, 20% or more. Would you be interested in all of those, Mr. and Mrs. Buyer? I'd be happy to put you in touch with those. Yeah, that'd be great. Great, when's a good time to get together? Now, I've asked nothing about their qualifications. That comes later. The goal of the appointment, I want everybody to really write this down and pay close attention to it. The goal of the call, the goal of the contact is to get an appointment with that prospect. Then you want to qualify that so that you make sure that it's a qualified appointment. I'm not suggesting that anybody go on unqualified appointments. Don't misinterpret me here. But let's focus on the goal, which is to get the appointment. The timing and motivation is secondary. Let's assume that somebody on a car lot probably has some money in their pocket to buy a car. Let's assume that somebody looking for real estate probably needs your help, your guidance, and your direction to buy a home. Does that make sense? I hope you find this helpful, and um, we have a playbook, an agent manual. If you want to check out it, check it out on our website. You can go to www.brianmoses.com, and all my dialogues are there. Um, and if that interests you, great. If that serves you, fantastic. If not, please join us on Facebook. Click like, stay in touch, and you'll get more short training video tips uh, as we do them from time to time. And we're also going to be doing some webinars in the new year, so you'll be emailed about those as well. But go to brianmoses.com. Make sure you opt in and uh, you want to stay in contact with us so you get all our free information. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.